the purpose of this conversation is to realize that as an individual we are enough we can do enough and we already have enough in the present embrace the present moment means to accept the present scenario with gratitude so let's learn how to eliminate complaints uh, our guest dedicates herself to gratitude day in and day out her profession is to help people realize how whole and complete they already are in a world of insecurities which root out of social media society and marketing in general gratitude coach shivani kojaria is here to share the magic of daily gratitude with us welcome hello so thank you so much such a wonderful introduction and uh, this so thank you and thank you to everyone so before we start can we just take like a moment to remember and acknowledge all the people in our life who have made us capable to bringing us here on this platform so just a minute to acknowledge everybody your parents your teachers your well wishers your friends everybody who have contributed in your journey today so i thank them all and i acknowledge them all as i begin today's podcast yeah thank you so much gratitude so, yes yes yeah yeah so we can start yeah uh gratitude feels good uh at the moment uh how can gratitude fuel motivation for further achievement rather than a means to comfort myself to a place of chilling and doing nothing what do you so, think so i think first you have to understand what does gratitude mean okay so gratitude is not simply saying thank you you know it starts off very mechanically like you know if you're going somewhere and you say thank you but do you really understand and say thank you so gratitude comes from a very deep emotion of actually feeling grateful for that that particular thing to have happened so even if supposing it's a glass of water that i'm drinking and somebody has offered me it's not that water that i have gone and i have drilled the well and i've bought it and i have you know got it i'm just getting it in you know just in my hand so there's a lot of things that have gone between getting that pure water for us to drink right because we just you know probably go push our aqua guard take the water glass and then drink it the zero b or whatever but imagine the kind of people uh, the intelligence the kind of engineers have been working on it to bring it to my doorstep or to bring it to my kitchen or whatever so the moment you realize that everything in your life you take it for granted but there is a lot of thought work and action that has gone to make your life more and more comfortable every single day of your life so when you understand that what is actually gratitude and what is the universe and people and everyone contributed in your life to bring you here you start living in a feeling of wow a wowness comes into your life so with gratitude you feel a lot of contentment but you don't become complacent so it kind of it's not making you like acha i have enough you don't feel that you feel i have enough and i can achieve a lot more you don't come from a place where i have nothing so you don't see the glass like half empty you see the glass half full and when you reach that level of uh, you know your brains tell uh, you know become more clear neuroscience teaches us that when you're in good feelings when you're in positive feelings when your state is in a meditative state of mind your thoughts everything become more clear 
and you are able to catch what you need to catch. So you automatically reach those kind of things that you need to do in your life to achieve more in your life. Did I make sense? Yes. Uh, in fact, even I'm learning that rather than seeing the glass as half empty, you see it as half full. So you want to make it a three-fourths and you want to make it uh, even more full. Once it starts to uh, overflow, uh, then you've got more to share. So absolutely, you're right. So what happens is your energy is put in increasing what you have rather than in complaining of what you don't have. So most of the times, each of us, we spend a lot of time, energy, and our resources in talking, in spending, in, you know, complaining, or always talking, or in even emotions like jealousy, fear, worry, anger. Our emotions are all Gossip. going on those. Gossips. But there's no positive outcome of these. I can sit here and worry all day, or I can become action-oriented and take a single step towards my goal, towards what I want to achieve in my life. So the moment you start practicing gratitude, you start pushing yourself into start seeing what you have in your life. And you start feeling, you come from a place of feeling very blessed. You know, like say when, it, when we all went through COVID and Corona, we understood the importance of oxygen in our life. Okay, but we have been given for X number of years and for millions of years, we've been breathing this oxygen day in and day out free of cost. But have we ever felt that, oh, wow, I'm getting oxygen to breathe? Even before, I mean, during Corona, everybody said, oh, oxygen, wow. Now that again, that phase is over and we are back to like, it's my birthright. So very small things we have forgotten to be and feel blessed and we only look at the things that we don't have in comparison to somebody else but when we are compared to somebody else who doesn't even have what we have right yes so gratitude just keeps you in a very positive zone keeps you in that feeling of completeness wherein you're able to set your goals, set your direction towards what you want and move towards it faster. And gratitude also helps you manifest and act as a law of attraction tool. Right. Uh, could you dig uh, a little uh, into the law of attraction uh, okay. okay, so let's talk about uh, law of attraction with you, uh, with relationships, for example. Yeah, we sure. can take one two examples. So, supposing I want to repair a relationship, okay, I mean, you tell me, give me an example. Uh, with the par uh, parents, for example, okay. so yeah. with your parents, so today you may feel a bit discomfort, negativity, or like, okay, they didn't do enough, you know, a little bit of negative feelings towards that person, towards your parent. But when you start practicing and your goal or your desire or your wish in life is to have a beautiful relationship with them, okay? But when you start practicing gratitude, you will see that you will are able to create that relationship almost instantly. So, uh, you know, you start going back to when you were born, how they fend for you, they took care for you, they've stayed up for you all night, they've rushed, they've left their work, everything maybe taken off to take care of you, they've tried to send you to the best school. And you go back to all the past things that you have felt that they've done for you. I am sure that there were things that you might have felt that they could have done better or they did not do. But if you make a list of the things that they have done for you, 
and you start being in gratitude for that, the couple of things that you feel that they didn't do for you stops mattering. Yes. The feeling generated becomes so pure, so powerful that you instantly feel love for them. So I had a student in my class and, um, you know, I mean, I did not know that he had this, um, you know, having a little bit of uh, tiff with his father. And after my class, he they, they were living in separate houses. His family, he, he with his wife and children and his parents were living in a separate house. And uh, within a week, he went back and started staying with his parents after doing the gratitude class. And he said, that the class he was actually in tears when he was sharing it in the next class that he said it just opened my eyes that my parents have done so much for me off late I was only seeing he you know they didn't do this they didn't do this they didn't do this they could have done this they were not like this they were not like that so he said but when you took me back to my past and my past with them it made me realize that for 25 30 years I mean they did everything for me Today, I've become capable and I'm still expecting them to do things for me. And that was, I think that was my victory when he came back and told me that, you know, I repaired my relationship with my father. So you see a lot of people by practicing gratitude, repair a lot of relationships in their life. Yeah, I mean, that's a really uh, transformation that... Uh... Yeah. One from not living together now is, you know, gone back to living with their parents. Yeah, because in India, we have that culture where we yes, still we live in joint families. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, gratitude generates a positive energy and vibes, which makes a person uh, happy for the simplest things. Uh, how does the universe respond to a person who is grateful? And then how do we sustain this gratitude in the long run? So just like, okay, like say, universe understands the frequency that we emit out. The language of the universe is based on frequency. Okay. Now our words can be separate. Like even if you have to say, uh, the word mother, okay? Uh, some people call mommy, amma, mom, mommy. There must be a lot of other, uh, you know, language uh, in lots and lots of universal, I mean, lots and lots of uh, languages. But the word can be different, right? But when they're calling out to the mother, the emotion and the feeling is always the same. So if you, I, what do you call your mother? If may I ask you? I call her mummy, Oma. I call her so many names. Yeah. So does that, if it does it, even if you call her mom, Oma or whatever, it's the emotion that you're emitting towards her remains the same, right? Yes. yes same, same. Okay. So it is the universe doesn't understand the language we are talking in. The universe understands the emotion and the frequency that we send out. Right. Okay. So it's about the frequency that goes out of us that the universe responds to and the law of attraction responds to that. So when we are in the emotions that keep us on a higher frequency zones, which are like, you know, which emit out a lot of lightness, a lot of brightness, you know. So it's like love, uh, you know, gratitude. So first, most purest emotion and frequencies of love. The second highest is of gratitude. So, you know, and the it's, you know, when people say you're okay, okay is, you know, not a positive feeling. You're supposed to at least feel, okay, I feel satisfied or I feel content or I feel uh, energetic or I feel enthusiastic. Then you're on the higher frequency and a positive zone. But if I tell you, huh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm okay. These are answers we think which are okay. No, they're not okay. You're supposed to be good, happy. Like, what are you? You can't just be fine. Fine is like, you know, that line, like just at the ground like level. Mediocre. 
anchor. You know, it's like, yeah. Yeah, so there's about... something which is bothering you. Okay, either you you can make out when somebody, like say you message somebody and say, hi, what's up, how are you? And somebody says, oh, I'm great. What is the instant feeling you get? Or somebody says, ha, oh, I'm fine, okay. There's a different energy that comes out of that person yeah. and you and yeah. you feel it even though it's on a text message. So yeah. the universe responds to the frequency that you are vibrating in. If you are vibrating in a good and positive emotion and frequency, the universe will give you more and more of that. If you are vibrating in a lower frequency of worry, fear, anger, you will get more and more of that. So gratitude is the simplest way, the easiest way. Like to create pure love is very difficult. Is very difficult because we've always, in this world, we've always started believing in give and take. Yes. You give me and I will give you back. Transactions. Okay? So yeah. So to get that pure love energy, so example, like, Today, my husband surprises me and buys me something. I'm extremely in love with him and oh, how and full lovey-dovey. Okay. And tomorrow he does something completely, you know, out of the regular character. I'm going to feel less love for him, right? Because the love of today's uh, generation or today what we understand love has is a lot transactional. It's all a lot like give and take. It's but more is much. Material compared to not necessarily, not necessarily, even emotionally. If I'm emotionally invested in you, you, I will only in, invest if you are also emotionally invested in me. If I don't see that emotion coming from you, I want to cut it off. So, uh, gratitude is easy, very very easy. So it's a very simple, easiest form. To keep yourself in a very high and positive vibrating zone. And then the more you practice gratitude and the more you start practicing gratitude for what you already have, you start getting what you already want. So if you want money, constantly practice gratitude for money. Okay. What are we doing instead? Okay. Everything has become so expensive these days. Cost of living has gone up so high. The dollar price is going so high. So what are we doing? We are complaining about money. Or even we are telling, you know, we talk like this, that, oh God, you know, eating out has become expensive. Drinking out has become expensive. Our, everything is becoming more and more expensive. So this is the conversation we are having, which is complaining about money. And then we expect that money, sh more money should come to me. So more money doesn't come when you're complaining about money. If you embrace the money, embrace it, it will come to you. So appreciate the money that you already have rather than complaining about the money that you don't have or you cannot, you're not affording to have. So automatically money starts coming to you. You become friends with money, na? If I, I and you want to be friends and I, every time you're sitting with me and I keep complaining about you, listen, you're like this, listen, you're like that. You will stop coming to me because you are not getting anything nice. You're not getting a good feeling by hanging around with me. Say, similar with money. Every time I'm going to start complaining about money, everything has become so expensive. There's no value for money. You know, it's, it's so expensive to go anywhere. It's so expensive to me take a holiday. It's so expensive to buy a bag. This bag has become everything. We just talk subconsciously. We talk like that about money. We talk like this about the weather. We talk like this about the politicians. Like, you know, we just talk and complain. Yes. So law of attraction will help. Gratitude will help in law of attraction. When you start practicing gratitude for whatever you want to bring closer towards, your uh, towards yourself. Take an example. You want to buy a house. How much gratitude you give to the house that you're already living in? How grateful do you feel that today you have a shelter on your head? Or you're looking at your house and only complaining that I have a very small place. I don't have this in my house. I don't have that in my house. 
or you look at somebody else's house and say, oh, wow, you know, I wish I had a house like this. I have a very small place. I have a very small car. I have a very, you know, in that. But if you don't even have gratitude for what you have, how are you going to have more? Yeah, you've uh, made me think, rethink <laughs> about all the the things that I've been uh, doing now. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad. So at least I know one yeah, person has been very thought provoking. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Uh, can you share a transformation story to the power of daily gratitude? What have uh, people achieved through the practice and what further can one uh, expect? Share some uh, stories from, uh, from either your life or from someone in your circle. So sky is the limit. Sky is the limit to achieve. So I have also achieved, I've been practicing uh, gratitude from uh, May 2020, uh, thanks to pandemic. We all used our time in our best possible way. And I got into this practice. I met some amazing teachers who started with this uh, practice and, uh, you know, shared it. And then I started sharing this practice with people around me. And uh, I saw major transformation uh, I saw a lot of money coming into uh, my house even during pandemic. And that was the eye opener for me. What did I do different? I only started practicing uh, gratitude. And um, my husband is in travel uh, trade. So with the, you know, with the world being shut, you know, there was, uh, we didn't know when the travel industry will pick up. Okay. And I think that's the biggest example that, I think the kind of gratitudes I must have done today, travel industry is booming today. Everybody is traveling. The world, everybody Everyone. in the world is traveling. So I think the gratitude done then is like, you know, after pandemic, it's become crazy. The way the travel industry has boomed. It's amazing. So I started there, wherein I started, uh, uh, you know, I realizing that instead of complaining that, there, you know, there's no business and the industry stopped and, you know, I started there. I started thanking the company, the people, the travel industry, the airlines. So I went on to very detailed gratitude for the business that we are in. And then I started seeing great amount of business coming in. And even though the world had not opened, I saw, you know, different resources of income coming in which was a great way, you know, the universe is like telling you that I'm listening to you. And, you know, like, I, I mean, I would uh, manifest very small things like a new phone. Uh, so always in my class, I always start off with, you know, telling them write down like four or five things that very small, like maybe I will see a um, red balloon or I'll see like anything small, like, you know, which if you see it or you don't see it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not going to change your life. It's not your life changing event. So, or I'll receive a call from my best friend. Okay. Or I'll receive a call from somebody whom I haven't spoken to for long. I mean, you can do that a practice now. Write down any five things that you would like to manifest for yourself. Okay. Very basic, small things like, okay, you know, my mom will call me. Okay. And don't be attached to it. And then see whether you know, the universe is listening to you. And within a day or two, you will see that all these things are drawn towards you. Okay, like I will eat an ice cream today or, you know, suddenly you'll see somebody is like calling you up or you go somewhere and there is an ice cream being served or something like that. So very basic stuff like that. We, you know, to build your confidence on what you're giving out to the universe. So I think that was a big change that I saw when I started, uh, I, I saw my students manifesting children. They they didn't have a child and they had a child. And, um, you know, they went through a lot of treatments in the past, but they couldn't conceive. And then they conceived through the practice of gratitude and uh, this. I saw people, like I shared with you, with 
amazing relationships, people who are struggling with their relationships, getting back and having beautiful relationships in their life. So in, in health, okay, I mean, I think, you know, I call myself, uh, you know, COVID virgin. I didn't get COVID, but even though I was all the time around it, uh, surrounded with people who had COVID and I was exposed to them. So because I think I was practicing gratitude for my health a lot. So it always created a shield and kept me healthy. So even like four people went into that place, three of them have come back with COVID except me. I lived with my husband like day in and day out. He got COVID, but I didn't get. So I think that whole everything, whether it was health, whether it was wealth, it was relationships, whether it was a career, because like even when I started off with this practice, I didn't make it a career choice. I made it a passion oriented thing. I was just giving this out. Today, it's turned into a career for me. So I would say I saw all results and that's why I can promote it so much. And talk so confidently about the practice of gratitude in your life. Yes. And uh, so you mentioned about uh, children. Uh, you mentioned about COVID, you mentioned about money. I think that gratitude simply is a very big immunity booster. Yeah. Simply yeah. because you vibrating on that uh, higher energy, which in itself is more uh, enlightening compared to the lower uh, energy of fear, anger, anxiety, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It acts like everything. Even if you're unwell today, if you have a slight cold and cough, or just basic, start giving gratitude. Say, you yes. know, thank you for the breath that I'm breathing. Thank, just, yes. I, you know, when I say say it, I mean say it with feelings. It also controls your anger at times. If you're angry, Okay, like a very simple exercise that if you're angry, I, I always tell everybody take um, 100 steps of thank you. Like how people say, Na, count 1 to 100 and your anger will think. So I'm like, take, take 100 steps of, uh, just say thank you and walk 100 times, like 100 steps. And then see you no longer angry. Yes. That is true. So yeah, I don't really have much more to say because I'm just thinking, you know, you made me uh, in this uh, thinking zone, but I do want our uh, audience to at least start uh, embracing whatever you have already with a lot more gratitude and you will see that it will uh, boost your uh, immune system, it will uh, bring in the money, it will uh, heal not just you, but also your relationships and uh, and uh, yeah, life will, will uh, transform. Uh, Shivani, do you have any last thoughts for our viewers yes i would request everyone just start and end your day with a small practice of gratitude just every day before you uh, end your day think of one good thing that happened in your day say thank you and sleep with that feeling that today was such a beautiful day even if it was that one tiny thing that happened right. so sleep with that your brain your subconscious mind everything will repair it and then every morning, start your day with saying thank you. Thank you to yourself. Thank you to your friends, your family, your life, your house, your bed, your pillow, whatever you want. Just say thank you and then leave the bed. And then tell me the changes that you see in your life. And uh, for now, I'm go, uh, going to say 
thank you, Shivani, with all the the uh, energy and uh, with all the intention that I'm really grateful for having this conversation with you on gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.